Because really, you don't already did too much for him. And he may not know it, and you may not even know it. But subconsciously, he needs to do nothing more. Because he already got the maximum out of you. So why would he, you know, go above and beyond now? When you already done gave him wife, you already done gave him... You know, everything. You don't gave him everything for nothing. Alright y'all. Oh my goodness, I have tried to record this. So many times my mic was acting up so that's what I get for spending $26 on a mic. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. If you are not new here, welcome to my channel. And I hope you guys are enjoying all of my videos that I have been uploading. I'm trying to be really, really consistent with my uploads. So... If you like my types of videos, keto, weight loss, girl talks, just my lifestyle in general, then go ahead and subscribe. Leave a big thumbs up so that I can get recommended and I can get in that algorithm, you know. <laughs> so yeah, but let's get right into this video. In this video, I want to talk about becoming high value. And if you don't know what becoming high value is, it is simply not being low value. It is putting yourself on a pedestal. It is treating yourself as the prize. It is not settling for less than you deserve or than what you feel like you should have. It is not letting people guilt trip, ugh, guilt trip you into feeling bad. It is not being a yes girl. It is thinking about yourself before you think about others. That is what being high value means to me. It means a lot of different things to other people, but I just want to say I think it is very, very important for women, particularly black women, to be very high value and to have standards, very high standards, and to hold people in their life to those standards. And if they cannot raise to the standards that you set, then you need to um, let them go. You need to get them out of your life. You need to block them. You need to stop contacting them. You need to do whatever it is that you need to do so that you can become your best self. A little background about me. I was definitely a low value chick. I was definitely a masculine chick. And I will say this, it does not matter what your appearance looks like on the outside. It is all a mindset. So you can have the wigs, you can have the makeup, you can have the nails, you can have the purses, the bag, the clothes, the shoes, the walk, the talk, you can have it all. But if you don't have a high value woman mindset or a feminine woman mindset, then you will lose in the end. Um, and the saying goes, nice girls finish lash, and that is so true. Because I've had my fair share of finishing last. I've had my fair share of being used and abused just because I was trying to be nice. And I was like, oh, well, what, what is, how is he going to feel? If I do this, how is he going to feel? If I do that, forget that. I'm thinking about myself now and how will I feel because now I know what I want. And back then, I didn't know what I want. I just took whatever somebody would give me. And I'm so over that right now, like, um, I actually have very high standards and I encourage all of you who are watching my channel to do the same, especially if you are a, are a black girl and you're tired of settling and you're not getting the type of relationships and the type of lifestyle that you want. So for me, I had to do a lot of self-reflecting and I'll say this motherhood really came for me. After I had my son, I was just like, what is it? Why can't I get, you know... A guy that is worth something and it's so funny because a long time ago my mom asked me a question she was like why do you keep getting all these scrubs where do you get all these scrubs from and I never really just thought about it and asked it but literally every up until this point I have never had a real true relationship where it's traditional values and I've never had anything I've had roommates and I've had boys who I've had sex with that is about it. I've never had a real man 
to be masculine, to court me, to do any of those things. So like I said, after having my son, I really had to do some self-reflections and I really had to say, hmm, I'm the common denominator in all of these situations, not the gods. So why is it that I always end up with guys that don't have as much as me, that are basically broke? Why can't I have the guys that are successful and established and has just as much as me, if not more? Why do I always settle for less? I had to ask myself all of those questions and come to find out it all stemmed from a place of me not knowing my worth, me being low value, me being masculine, and just accepting the bare minimum and being okay with that. And also allowing people to use me and like I said just being the nice girl and I'm so over that at this point um I'm really done with it so let's go ahead and get into these tips and things that you can do to become more high value first thing first is focus on yourself nothing more nothing less stop thinking about what people are gonna have to say about you stop thinking about what how people are gonna feel about you stop thinking about other people all the time and think about what it is that you want and what it is that you want to do in life how you want to live your life the life that you see for yourself if somebody does not fit that then you need to X them out honey you need to X them out because the longer you sit and deal with the things that you don't want to put up with you're wasting time and you're never going to get what you really want if you continue to settle for what you don't want if that makes sense focus on yourself and a big part of that for me was losing weight let me say this i love my plus size girls i'm plus size i have been plus size all of my life but at the end of the day we get a certain type of treatment from men versus a straight size girl these are facts it is not an opinion um, a lot of the stigma around being plus size is that we pay for our men we settle we'll put up with anything just to say that we have somebody um, and all of these things is definitely not true um, but a lot of plus size girls do know their worth um, so I think that is very important but if you are someone who is overweight or obese lose weight lose weight lose weight lose weight high value men they don't like overweight um or i would say obese they don't like obese women because it's sad to say but it's just true because that's how that's a part of getting a quality man as well um when you're plus size a lot of men will not have respect for you they'll look at you as a sexual object and that's gonna come in the next thing that I talk about but I'm just gonna speak on my like experiences really quick so rewind back to maybe all of my life when I was plus size and I was about 280 pounds plus um, all the way up to 300 pounds or so the way that guys would come at me was very sexual um, they would always tell me what they wanted to do to me. Um, they didn't even have to know my name. <laughs> and it's very sad, but you're more than that. You have to realize that you're more than a sexual object. And a lot of times we think just because a guy says something like that, that it means something that, honey, no. You need a guy to invest in you and want to know you for you and not look at you as sex. Of course, any guy that you come across is going to think about sex regardless that's always on their mind that's just how they think but when a man meets his wife he's thinking about sex on the honeymoon he's not thinking about sex the first night that he met you okay and that brings me to my second thing that I want to say stop having sex stop having sex um sex is not a high value quality especially if you just go around being very promiscuous sleeping with any guy every guy if any guy can have you then of course it's like your value goes down right you want to be high value you want to be like the Mercedes on the lot you want to be like the Audi on the lot you want to be like the 
freaking Maybach on the lot. You don't want to be the Toyota. You don't want to be the freaking Hyundai or whatever. You want to be hard to obtain. You want um, to people to have to work hard for you. And that's how you're going to feel. Having sex with guys all of the time, random guys that you don't know that you just met on the first night and they haven't did anything for you, it really makes you feel empty on the inside. Trust me, I know. Um, any guy that I have slept with in the past has not invested a thing into me. They all took from me. They all used me. They all abused me. And I got tired of that. I really got tired of that. And so what I, I called out the number one problem. That's call a freaking snake a snake. I was fat. <laughs> I didn't have the greatest self-esteem. I was overweight. I was not in shape. I was a yes girl. I was the nice girl. I was a girl that felt, I don't know, like compliments meant something. But somebody really opened my eyes. Um, One guy really, really opened my eyes. And um, I'm getting very personal with you guys on this channel. But um, he was actually the first guy that I did have sexual relations with that I didn't feel like I gave myself up for nothing. And I was like, wow. Like that, that just felt so good rather than having sex with guys when you're just giving them a nut. You know what I'm saying? And and they don't even they don't even have anything to give you. And it's so sad that a lot of girls live this way. Um a man needs to invest in you. He needs to date you. He needs to court you. And I was never taught these things. Um but now I'm learning everything all over again and I don't have sex. I am celibate. So I think that um sex should be between husband and wife so I, I take that very very seriously now but I was young and I was unknowing so I don't blame myself for things that I did not know back then and for the things that I did I don't beat myself up about it I do better now so that I won't have to live that lifestyle again ever ever again and like I said celibacy that just makes you so much more high value think about it if a guy is just trying to have sex with you and you tell him you're celibate he gonna go on head on. He he gonna be out the door before you can even say the next words because he knows that he only wants sex and he knows that you're not about to do that. Okay? He's gonna have to do some things. He's gonna have to make you his wife before you even consider that. And y'all, that's another thing that I want to say. It needs to take a lot for a guy to take to be able to take you off of the market. Stop getting in a relationship with guys that ain't did nothing but said, will you be my girlfriend? No, like, uh, no, no, like, it is sad. So, um, like I said, lose weight if you need to lose weight because that helps a ton. Um, and like I said, the, the, the reactions and the interactions with me and now it's so different being that I am a lot slimmer. I don't get the, um... I'll do this to you anymore before you even know my name. I get actual conversations, like genuine trying to get to know me conversations. And it's so different. Like a guy wouldn't dare say something sexual like that to me now. Like they would say, they would have said back when I was 300 pounds. Because they already know. They already know, honey. They better not come my way with that foolishness. I don't even talk like that. Like... A guy knows that he cannot sext me. He cannot send me pictures of his... No, I don't want to see that. <laughs> he knows not to do that. But if a guy is sending you dick pics and a guy is talking to you like that and y'all haven't even went on a date, he's not serious about you. Um, that's, that's just not how it works. And you don't want to... You don't want to fall for that. You don't want a low-value guy. You want a high value man and you want to be a high value woman okay so next you need to be feminine as you can be and it is a struggle it is a process um every single day you need to be working on it because the more feminine you are the more masculine of a man you will attract and that is what you want you don't want a man who's gonna want you to go 50 50 
You don't want a man who cannot even call you up and say, hey, do you need anything? Can I do this for you? Can I do that for you? You don't want an insecure man that does not have these things because guess what? He's always going to feel threatened by any little thing that you do. You can go get your hair done. He's going to be threatened because he knows he's not doing his job. So he knows that at any given moment, you're looking so good that a high value man might take you off the market or could. If you listen to a lot of the songs, guys, um, it's very, we as ladies know, a man can be butt ugly. I would take a little baby, for example. That man is not attractive at all. But because he has money, it makes him instantly more attractive. But also, like I said, it's a mindset for men as well. A guy can have $10 million. If he ain't spending it, if he has a dusty mindset, it's no good to you. If he still wants an independent woman, if he still wants a woman that can pay bills and do that, it still ain't any good. So, to all the little babies and the money bag yo's and the young nudies and all of the futures and all of them, you don't want those type of guys offset. You know, you don't want those type of guys. You want the guy that knows what it means to be masculine and knows that it gives them the ultimate respect from women and men alike. You want the type of men that want to impress you. You don't want to be the one always doing the impressing or trying to impress a man with what you have. Because at the end of the day, it's like you're buying him or you're trying to buy his love or whatever. And it does not work like that for men. It does not work like that. They need to invest in you. They need to spend as much money as possible on you. They need to come out of their pocket because that is where the value sits, okay? That is where the value sits. And like I said, no going 50-50. No going anything. If a man wants you, he needs to be able to pay all of your bills and his. And if you got your own place and he's trying to come over or whatever, he, don't even let him come over unless he's paying a bill or two. You know, so you need to have very, very, very high standards when it comes to these men just so you won't get used and abused and end up like a lot of black women today. They get thrown away after the man gets to where he wants to be. After he's used you because you you was his come up chick. You helped him with the bills. You helped him go 50-50. You did all that. Now he's about to go get little Sally over here that ain't finna do none of that. But he's finna use what he got from you to impress her because he knows that she's a feminine woman and she does not do any of that. Don't let anybody tell you that you're wrong them no seriously them because they ain't paying your bills at the end of the day not they're not trying to help you with nothing but they got an opinion on everything i just don't understand they got an opinion about everything but they ain't even did nothing but took from you and created debt for you and also i want to say that too if you already did so much as to go and have a man's child and he still ain't doing what you know needs to be done if you don't have his second and third and fourth Baby, you need to move on to the next. You need a Sierra and you need to level up so that you can get any man and you need to move on to the next. Because really, you have already did too much for him. And he may not know it and you may not even know it. But subconsciously, he needs to do nothing more because he already got the maximum out of you. So why would he, you know, go above and beyond now when you already done gave him wife? You already done gave him you know everything you don't gave him everything for nothing so pull you a sierra level up lose weight do what you gotta do do what you gotta do and go get the life that you deserve okay make yourself the prize and and to do that you need to look good all the time you need to look better than him you need to smell better than him you need to walk better than him. You need to stay away from him, first of all. Um, space is very important. Don't be calling him all the time. And even if he call you, don't answer all the time. Especially if he's not doing anything for you. Stop feeling like you owe somebody something because you don't. If they're not putting no money in your pocket, if they ain't paying no bills, if they're not helping you be a feminine woman, and be fine if they ain't helping you do none of the things that you like then they, they can just go like they can just hit the road and don't come back because <laughs> you know we, we just we just some feminine women and we like to be taken care of and we like to be spoiled in my whole entire life as a little girl i was spoiled rotten by my daddy i got anything that i wanted y'all 
anything. Um, so I should have known better the whole time. But I really wasn't, I don't know. Like I said, low self-esteem is a motherfucker. And low self-worth is a motherfucker. And being low value is a motherfucker. And being masculine is a motherfucker. But that's what got me here. To be hypergamous. You you really need to be hypergamous um, when dating. You don't need to date anyone who is like beneath you. If you got this and they don't got it, then X them off the list. They're not even an option. My exercise for y'all after this video will be to come up with you a list of standards. Write down your standards. What you will and won't accept. And if you are faced with a guy who is trying to do date you or whatever he's trying to do and he can't check off everything on the list, he's not an option. And if he's a dusty, he ain't even an option anyway. Okay, we're going for successful, ambitious, all of that. So, yeah. Stop having sex. <laughs> Stop having sex with these men, okay? Okay. Also, I wrote down right here, um, role reversal. In role reversal relationships where you're doing all the doing and he's doing all the sitting back and resting and... All of that stuff right there, those type of relationships um, will never have full respect on either side. You as a woman will never be able to respect him and he will never be able to respect you. Like I said, it's a very subconscious thing. You might not know it and he might not know it consciously, but that is there. That's always going to be there. It will never be full respect in the relationship. Um, and make it a standard to only date masculine men. Um, men who reach out to you, men who want to pay your bills, men who want to impress you, men who want to show you things that you've never seen before, men who wants to treat you like the prize that you are. Only date those type of men. Um, stop dating stingy and cheap men, men that don't want to spend any money on you. Let me say this. Just, just take me for example right now. I'm looking like shmoney. <laughs> just looking like shmoney. I got my little platinum going on or whatever. Like, I'm giving really expensive vibes. Like, this ain't no synthetic hair. This hair ain't cheap. My makeup wasn't cheap. I got on NARS. I have on MAC. <laughs> I have on Huda Beauty. You know, none of that stuff is cheap. A little shirt from Forever 21, but you know. My point is, I'm an extravagant type of chick. Okay, I like nice things. I have a nice car. Um, I'm working on redoing my room. The whole the whole room is going to have like a glam aesthetic. So what can I do with a cheap and stingy man? I'm going to have to spend all my money. And because he's so cheap and I'm in a relationship with him and he's my man, I'm going to have to spend my money on him too because he don't want to do what I want to do. He don't want to spend no money. He don't want to spend no coins. So I cannot deal with him, okay? I cannot. I need a man who's trying to spend it, okay? Because I got bills, and I got a son, and I got just a lot of responsibilities. I got things I'm trying to do. I want to start my own business. I want to, I have entrepreneur goals, and I need a man that's trying to invest in me. And I need a man that respects my femininity, and I need a man that ain't going to ask me why you looking so good. I need a man that tell me, damn, you looking good, girl, you looking good. Like, you did that for me? I did it for you. You know I gotta look good for you so you can keep putting that money in my pocket. <laughs> no, but y'all like, I'm playing. I'm really clowning right now, but I'm serious at the same time. I'm so serious. Stop being afraid of being called a gold digger because nine times out of ten, the guys that are calling you a gold digger ain't even got no gold for you to dig. The ones that got it, don't mind. It ain't tricking if you got it. The ones that got it don't have no problem with it. And my mom was hypergamous, so why would I be hypogamous? It doesn't make sense. So you need to become high maintenance. That's another thing that I said. It goes along with getting your hair done, keeping your nails done, makeup, um, how you live just needs to be high maintenance, period. Because dusty dudes will see that. They will see that they cannot even afford you, and they will keep it moving. The do you see them little dusty dudes going up to white women trying to say something? And if they do, that's the level of confidence that I need you to have, okay? You need to have a level, the level of confidence that these dusty dudes be having when they have the audacity to come step to you looking like a million dollar chick. And they have the audacity to come step to you 
and try to holler. No. I need your confidence to be on deck, okay? I need your confidence to be on deck. All right, period. So, like I said, I always look better than him. I always smell better than him. Always. Always, always. And last but not least, y'all, the little tip-wise, I want to say this. Stop acting like a man. Stop sitting like a man. Stop talking like a man. Stop having manly mannerisms. Stop drinking out the bottle. Stop taking shot after shot after shot after shot. <laughs> Just stop acting so manly. Stop drinking beer. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Stop wearing tennis shoes all the time. I might be spit, but where, where, where are you going with them shoes? If you ain't going to the gym, where are you going with them shoes? Put you on some heels. It's put on some heels. Put on some sandals. Put on some little nice feminine shirts and dainty jewelry. Get rid of the big iced out watches. Like you like you're going to trying to impress uh freaking Jay-Z. Like he don't even wear that stuff. Like I just want to help women. I just want to help women. Like that's all I want to do. And I, I be seeing them sometimes and I almost just want to go up to them and be like, look. I work out, I eat healthy, I was 300 pounds, like, I can help you, girl, I can help you, but at the same time, I don't want to come off as rude or, you know, whatever, whatever like that, but if we do this together, y'all, we can really make these men have one or two choices. <laughs> Either go gay or just let your balls explode. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do, but if you keep that thing on lock for your husband, these men will have to tighten up. Like, they will have no choice. But we as women, we keep allowing these things. And we keep giving them babies. And we keep giving them pussy. And we keep giving them whatever they ask for. And it's like, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to work for anything from us. So, um, I'm going to leave out with this. Um, I'm going to say do your research and study. I know everybody's not going to want to be feminine. Everybody's not going to want to be masculine. Or whatever the case may be. But this is a strictly a video for women who desire certain things in life. And desire um, certain t a certain caliber of men. And um, just require even a certain standard for themselves. I know that I won't even put up with my own foolishness now. So why would I put up with somebody else's? You tell me. I don't know. But yeah. Research. Um, study. Read some books on femininity. I have The Art of Seduction on Amazon. That is a very great book. You need to go read it. Mm -hmm. A lot of women don't even know how to be seductive or just how to be a damsel or how to do the things that I feel like all women should know how to do and use their femininity to get what they want. A lot of ladies don't even know how to do that. Um, and when I say ladies, I mean black ladies. Because white women, um, they have no problem. They are very traditional in their relationships. Their man is the head of the household. They don't pay bills, honey. They go with, they go get the credit card and go shopping with the kids. <laughs> and they're stay-at-home wise or whatever the case may be. But um, I think we really need to get back to that. And um, I don't know if y'all listen to Young Thug, but like he said, it's, it's way too late to try going on a date. After you done already, you know, you done already did. What are we going on a date for? I mean... Like I said, start over. Just like these men start over with their new girl after they be done got what they wanted out of you. Start over, honey. Don't don't go backwards to your Dusty. Don't try to change your Dusty because he ain't going to change. He is already, nine times out of ten, a fully grown man. Um, a fully grown boy in a man's body. So, by now it's too late. You just need to go get you a man that already thinks like that. And y'all can match each other's vibes. And you won't have to spend your whole life trying to transmit your your thoughts and your soul, honey. Because your partner don't understand you. So, that's all I have for today, guys. Um, I hope I really, like, got through to y'all. But my main tip is stop having sex. Stop giving your body away to these guys. Because at the end of the day, it does nothing for you. It makes you feel empty. He nutted. You didn't. And I'm just about to be real personal with y'all. Like, I'm about to, like, give y'all tea for real. Like, like I said, the, the one guy that did kind of show me the side of being, you know, feminine and being actually treated how a should treat, be treated and, you know, actually doing stuff, it is so fulfilling. You don't feel like you gave up everything for nothing. You feel like you got something in return. 
And even though it might not have went to a relationship or something, you still did not give yourself up, you know, pretty much for nothing. And you didn't lose your dignity and you didn't feel like a slut. <laughs> because like I said, he invested in you, whether it's time, money, it's always got to be money. But he need, to, he need to do some things. He need to really do some things. And I mean for a long period of time to the point where, so when you do have sex with him, like I said, you yeah, you're getting that, but look at what all I got from you. You know, so it's kind of like an even exchange because at the end of the day, every guy that I had sex with wanted to have sex with me first. I sat there and agreed, probably only agreed because I had some liquor. That's why I said stop drinking, stop taking all them shots. But yeah, I agreed because they wanted me first. I was never a very promiscuous type, but like I said, I was a people pleaser. So if you said I was cute and you wanted to have sex with me and you gave me a few shots, guess what? That was about enough for me. <laughs> But no, seriously, now I require so much more because like I said, all those times I wasn't even sexually satisfied. And guess what? The one that showed me, the one that actually invested in me and stuff, satisfied. Satisfied. Like, fireworks. <laughs> Boom. Like, I'm so serious. I, I'm not trying to be like too... But I think everybody on my channel is well above 18, so whatever. But y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like these type of little girl talks or whatever, um, thumbs up. Like, comment on this video as well if y'all want me to do more of these types of videos. Because I know that I this is like my first video of this realm on this channel. And it's going to be pretty long. I'm going to try to cut it down as short as I can. But this topic has been weighing on me for so long. And I've wanted to talk about it for so long. But it needs to be said and done. And I want you... To make your list of standards, I want you to start um, working on your health and appearance and all of that. And I want you to stop dealing with guys' stuff. Stop putting up with it because you don't have to. You're only dealing with it because you accept it. If that's what you want, though, that's different. If you want to be the masculine one, if, if you want to be paying all them bills and wearing them tennis shoes and looking like an old hag by the time you're 30 because you know I've been a workhorse and a mule for this man who ain't did nothing but up and love you and them kids by all means go ahead and do that but if you want to be a kept little lady and start you a business off of the money that another man done invested in you and you want to sit and look cute and not have to do a thing but only do it because you still is a bossy type of girl and you're going to do it something regardless then you already know what to do I'm so glad that you guys made it to the end of this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And y'all, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.